All right, let's go. All right, time for my first ever Tabac Tuesday. Here we go, right there, Tabac Original. So, <clears throat> we're getting ourselves a nice old man shave today. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> um, it stuff smells good. It smells good. Just a nice tobacco flower type scent. I'm sure there's, you know, other stuff going on. Yeah, but not bad. It has like a nice, maybe like 5 out of uh, 10 scent strength off the tub. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to remove the puck. <clears throat> and, uh bowl lather in my Lancaster bowl because it's my shave and god damn it I'm going to do it my way all right we're going to be using the old Lancaster brush here some distilled water <clears throat> so we got it right there that beautiful coin love that coin and then just this awesome Awesome design with the triple flutes on the bottom, the nice rose shape on top, and then that just luxurious knot. Very nice. Love that knot. All right. Set that right there. We're also going to be using my new vector, and we will be getting into that a little bit, but I have been just enjoying the hell out of this thing. It just the beauty the simplicity the shave that it gives just the feeling that it gives using a razor that i've wanted for so damn long <clears throat> and then we're going to finish off the shave with some oleos number 11 barbershop as well as some good oleo skin food um oil blend so that's what we're looking at here and we also got some rubens rubens brews out of Seattle, Washington, and we got a Miracle on 51st Street. A hazy IPA brewed with mango, passion fruit, and peach. Real good stuff. That was a collaboration with Urban Family. And I just noticed I didn't put no water in the sink, so sorry in advance. <clears throat> All right, let's get to lathering. I just got the uh, puck right there. This is going to be one of those rare face lather shaves. <clears throat> I mean, it's... I got the puck in my bowl, but... It's going to be a face lather because I'm just loading the brush more or less. I'm sure I'll have a little bit of lather left over in the... Uh, in the bowl here. For use if I need to. But we're going to try to just... Go right off the... Uh, Right off what the brush gives us. I have a little story to tell too. A little bit uh, a little bit later. Alright, that'll probably do it. Alright. Get that water off. <clears throat> so Corey did a the Chief, Shaving with Chief. He did a video. And he said, you know, I, he was thinking about getting one of those, uh, Paradigm razors, I think, the Paradigm Single Edge. He was commenting on somebody's video that had it or some, something or another, something along that vein. And he, uh, he mentioned, you know, he might even be willing to sell the Vector considering, you know, the amount of use it gets now that he's doing a lot of straight razor shaves. Well, I didn't make any comments because I was, you know, I already had a vector in the cart on blacklandrazors.com. So I didn't say anything. But he, he, he messaged me privately after that and said, Hey, bro, if you're enjoying that razor... You know, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to sell it to you. 
and he said, you know, I'd like to give you the homie hookup. <clears throat> and so I said, you know, name your price. <laughs> name your price. Because I have the razor in my possession, so I know it's in good condition, you know what I mean? So, all I really needed from him was a was a price and um, some PayPal info. So he tells me the price and um, and you know I try to raise it to try to be fair, you know. I was like, you know, you're giving me you're giving me a hookup, you know. And uh <laughs> Corey saw right through it, you know. And he goes he goes, "No, no, 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 no." This is the price, you know, this is the price that I'm, that I want to sell it to you for. And, you know, he saw right through me trying to, uh, raise the price to a more fair price. And he wouldn't take it. He wouldn't have it. And, <laughs> once again, I, my first interaction with the chief was just watching his first video with Corey. I had like no previous interaction with him. And this just speaks to how fucking cool this guy is. Like I'm not not lying whatsoever. He is upholding what this community is all about to like maximum standards here. So he gives me the hookup. I just dumped a little bit of uh, water into the brush there. He gives me the homie hookup. I try to pay him immediately. I told him, uh, you know, what's your PayPal so I can pay you before you change your mind. <laughs> and uh, we go through all that. And, um, you know, he has all the blades and whatnot that he's sending with it. And I'm just thinking, how fucking lucky am I to... Not only try before I buy, but then get a whole discount, you know, included on the razor, you know, from a complete stranger, more or less. And that just, it, it speaks volume to, to Corey's character, and he fits right in with the uh, greater community. And just how we operate, you know what I mean? Shit like this has been done before, and it'll be done again, but I'm just so damn appreciative of uh, of what Corey has uh, done for me here with this um, letting me borrow the Lancaster and whatnot. Or <laughs> the uh, Blacklight. Blacklight. Vector. Super cool, buddy. Super cool. No shit. This is some of the nicest stuff that's... Uh, that's happened to me in the shaving community, so here we go. Let's enjoy this one. Yesterday we did the uh, Zoom Groom Challenge. I don't think there was very much zooming about it. I wasn't very fast. And you might even say surprisingly because I have three quarters of my face has beard on it. <laughs> But it was late and I just wanted to get that video out of the way. But it's kind of funny what came about after that video. Um, so if you watch that Zoom Groom Challenge of mine. I kind of made some comments. About being hesitant to do the challenge. Kind of before it popped off, because I, I, I was one of the first people that I think even knew about it. Um, not because I'm anything special, but because somebody who is special, you know, gave me the heads up. And, um... I didn't do it at that point when I could have. Because I was a little bit hesitant about, you know, where does Pacific Shaving stand amongst our community? They are 
I like never see them talked about. I never see them um, interacting on any of the platforms that I that I frequent. You know, uh, kind of the uh, you know the shaving groups on Facebook and the. Uh, kind of greater shaving community on Instagram. I don't really see, you know, Pacific shaving there. And so, quite honestly, I was just like, you know, <laughs> what the hell do I care about uh, a company that's not involved with our community? Now, you know, honestly, that was probably a little bit being, you know, me being a little bit of a jackass because it was for a charitable cause, you know what I mean? I was kind of unsure if I even, at the time, I thought I had to use their products, and honestly, I didn't want to buy their products. But, um, after the thing and after the comments I made, you know, somebody from Pacific Shaving, the Pacific Shaving account, you know, kind of contacted me and said, you know, like, um, Thank you for doing your video and you know we appreciate you taking the time to um, do that you know for the for the uh, charity purposes and I of course you know was like no problem and they were like you know as far as far as everything you said they were like we you know we're a small business, and we assure you the people on your, on, you know, on our side of the business are real people, and, you know, we make products that we're proud of and all this jazz, and I was, you know, I was like, okay, you know, that's, that's fantastic, good for you, basically, you know, me being you know, the kind of jackass that I am. And, um, they said, if you, you know, I, I don't want to word this wrong, but they were more or less said, we'd uh, love to send you a product and, um, see if we can kind of change your view of us, you know. And at that point, I did what I was pretty much prepared to do when I first started this channel was I told him anything you send my way I'm willing to review or give my thoughts on but I'm gonna give my whole thoughts and honesty you know and it will be, you know, there will be no, no script, no endorsement, no nothing. I said, you know, I, I'm going to give you my full opinions, you know. Now, if I had interest in these products, I probably would have just offered to pay for them. But I have no interest in these products. And honestly, I'm I'm kind of hoping that maybe my mind does get changed, you know. Maybe they uh maybe they come out of the woodworks and uh impress me one way or another. I've done no no research on them. I've seen them before in kind of some of the bigger guys videos. But I was never, um, it never swayed me to give them, to go to my local whatever and pick it up. All right, pass two against the green. So yeah, I, I basically said I'm going to give you my honest opinions in the entirety. Just so you know, you know, if you send it my way. 
it will be going up on the channel. And uh, it's just going to be my honest opinions. And the uh, person responded, we're not sending you these in the hopes that we could get a review out of you or um, any sort of endorsement out of you. We're sending you these for for your use, you know, you know, to to do what to do with them what you will, with no expectations out of this transaction. <clears throat> and uh, I just responded, I respect that, gave them my address, and that's pretty much where I lied, you know. That's um. It's kind of like a good. A good first step, you know, a good first cust uh, customer interaction, you know. I thought the way that they uh, handled that I thought the way they handled it was pretty well. Um, they didn't get all pissy and offended with the comments I made, which, you know, they, they were just honest to comment. They were just honest comments. I have no interest in supporting that company because I want, I would rather spend my money on shaving companies that are active in our community and that, you know, I can put a face to and and, and all this jazz, you know. It's not, it's not entirely about the size of the company that puts me off. It's, I, I don't think they're part of our community. I don't think they participate in our community. They might be an all natural product <clears throat> they might be an all-natural product that is just phenomenal in performance. That doesn't mean I'm going to be jumping out the window to support them. Because I would rather my dollar go to someone in our community that participates in our community. You know what I mean? Or maybe you don't know what I mean. But that's just how I feel. <clears throat> it's my money, and, you know, I, I'm going to speak not only my mind, but I'm going to speak with my dollar, you know, where where I want my money to go to. So, I respect the way that they handled the transaction. They weren't um, salty, or they didn't come off as salty or, or bitter about my comments. They, uh told me thank you for doing the video and they just sent me the products more or less to see if they could change my mind you know not to get a glowing review but to see if they could change my mind with no expectations and even after I told them I'm gonna give them I'm gonna put on my channel you know my full an honest opinion. I believe they still went through with the transaction, so we'll see if the products arrive. They, uh, you know, they're sticking to their word, and if they just don't arrive, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe they said one thing and did another. We'll see. But as of right now, I think they uh, made a good first step, a uh, good first impression. And I told him I don't want to, uh, I don't want to damage, um, I, I forgot how I worded it, but I don't want to damage anybody's brand or, or reputation, and I don't want my thoughts and opinions to, uh, lead to them going out of business or any sort of bullshit like that. Not that my, <laughs> not 
Not that my 100 subscribers would fucking pull that off, but um, I, I, I don't want to bring harm to any small business or entrepreneur. But at the same time, I'm not going to hurt my reputation in any way, shape, or form by, you know, lying on camera or giving some sort of uh, false opinion on products and gear. I'm just not going to do it. I have plenty of soap. I don't need, you know, anything free, to be honest. I'm very appreciative that I get it because it's another product to put on my channel, but I honestly don't need any handouts. All right, so we'll see if that comes in. I'll feature it, give my thoughts on it. And you know, I got so wrapped up in that I didn't really talk about um, the tobacco too much, so we're just going to switch gears here. The scent, I, I don't think I'm going to have a scent. And quite honestly, guys, if you're unsure about a scent, or even just kind of meh when a new scent enters your den, um, you know, stick with it for a little while, because chances are, the longer that scent is in your vicinity, and the more chances you give it, your scent profile in the library of scents that you maintain in your noggin, they grow and evolve. And sooner or later, a fragrance that you hated, you might someday like or think is okay. And a scent that you think is okay, someday you might absolutely love it. So right now, tobacco, I think it's okay. But the longer it's around me, I might grow to appreciate it even more. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as performance goes, I've heard tobacco uses the same ingredients as fine. Now that doesn't mean they're formulated the exact same. You know, they could have used slightly more of this ingredient in tobacco and then less of that same ingredient on fine. I don't know. I, I've seen a JR from Reyes Restores on Instagram do a nice little comparison of uh, the ingredients and whatnot. But that, like I said, it doesn't really tell you the ratios, and it, it might not be identical, but pretty close. And uh, I do I do find that to be pretty true. It's uh, pretty close to fine. Um, it has good slickness, decent density, not, you know, none to ride home about. But uh, the lather didn't really break down during the course of the shave. And uh, it just served me well. Like, it, it had everything I need. Post shave, not that impressive. Um, and this, of course, is the immediate post shave for those of you in the comments who are going to say, you're about to put some aftershave products on. How the hell do you know what the post shave is? This is just the immediate feel after I after I dried off. And my skin's dry. It, it doesn't feel like it's moisturized whatsoever. So now we're going to put some post shave product on. Okay. About three drops of uh, the oil there, the uh, good oleo, and we're going to put a little, nice little splash of number 11, based on Mason Margiela's at the Barber's, out of their replica line. And that is a much better fragrance in my opinion but different as it is um it's just tobacco was good i think this uh oleo's number 11 is a lot better but both are good in their own right and uh it, i'm just happy that as far as the classics go like tobacco I, I like it. You know what I mean? It's not going nowhere. I'm not going to plan on getting rid of it. It it did good. You know what I mean? It's classic for a reason. It performed well. It smells alright. What more do you fucking need, really? Um, it's classic. And uh, it will be staying in the den. So, tobacco, good stuff. 
now I understand. Now I perform my first Tobacco Tuesday, and now you all can accept me finally. Or maybe you can't, you still can't get past the beard, you know, go into the video and thumbs down that shit. <laughs> okay, this one's going on long, so. Lancaster Bowl, still got the tobacco puck in there. With a little bit more usable lather, but we'll just let it slide. Lancaster brush with the V1 um, Lancaster knot. My favorite knot tied with the Strike Gold Shave Hair Force 1 knot. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my first ever Tobacco Tuesday, you know. And uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a very special video. All right, I'm out. Cheers. Thanks for the razor cheap.